Hello and welcome to step 12. Within this stage, we're going to do some view templates. We're going to do some view properties and create some sheets. So you know the drill, projects, open, step 12, open. Now the first thing we're going to do is hide the elevation symbols, which are the four little round circles with arrows on them that surround your plan. Select one, ho hover over one, right click, and then go to hide category, hide in view category. We're now going to change our scale in the graphic attributes bar to one to a hundred. And we're going to change from coarse to fine. Now, once you have done that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually save this view as a template. So over in your project browser, I want you to right click on the level three with rooms plus dims. And then we're going to scroll down and you can see create view template from view. I want you to click this. We're going to name our view, view MPK. And once you've done that, press OK. A new window will open, which is called view templates. And there are two things to notice in this window. We currently have um, a view template style under names, and that's our new view template, which we've created, view MPK. And then on the right side of the window, we have the view properties. These properties are a sub view of visibility graphics, which I will talk about in a later video. For the moment, everything is okay. So we will press okay. Once you have done this, we are now going to apply it to two additional views. So over in your project browser, I want you to press your control key and then select level four rooms with dims. And then I want you to go down to your sections and select while holding the control key, select section one, then going all the way over to the properties palette on your right hand side under identity data and you can see view template, I want you to press the none button. And then I want you to go to the name section and scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see view MPK. Click that and then press apply and then press OK. Now what you have done is you've actually applied those view template settings to those three views. Once you have done that, I would like you to go back to your project browser and double click on the south elevation. Then I would like you to close level three tab. Now, as you can see in this view, it's quite a long elevation. To be able to crop this, we have two options. The first option is down in your graphic display bar at the bottom where you have two crop symbols. One is crop view and one is show crop region. Alternatively, we can go over to the properties palette. Down in the extents part of the properties palette, we have three boxes for crop view, crop region visible and annotation crop. If we select crop region visible and then bring our cursor over into the model space, you will see a long rectangle has arrived. If you select this rectangle and you have four little pips, four little blue spots from the north, the south, east and west. If we select the left spot and then drag it in to approximately here and then go to the far right and select the other blue spot and then drag it in to approximately here, we have now cropped our view. To finish this command, press escape twice. Now, if we want to hide this crop region on our sheets or in our view, you can go back to your properties palette and then you can deselect crop region visible 
and then bring your cursor back into the space and it will hide. Alternatively, if you go down to your graphics option bar at the bottom, you can show the crop region by this button or turn it off by pressing it again. Now let's just say that we do not want to show the levels and grids and section in this drawing. To do this, I would like you to press VG on your keyboard. This stands for Visibility Graphics, VG. A new window will open and we can control the annotation parts of our view. So if you click Annotation Category tab, and then if you press L on your keyboard, it will jump down to levels. I want you to deselect that. And then just slightly above it, you'll see grids. I want you to deselect that. And then if you press S, it will jump down to the S section. And I want you to deselect sections and then press OK. And you will notice our drawing has removed the levels, the grids and the section line. Now, the next thing we're going to do is create a 3D view. So over in your project browser, if you go down to site, which is under floor plans, double click site. Now I want you to close the south elevation tab. So close that. Now under the view tab in the ribbon, I want you to hover over the little house that says 3D view and then press the down button and you will see a camera. Click this camera. Now, if you hover to the bottom left hand side of your drawing, click once, then move your mouse all the way over to the far top right hand corner and then click again. A new window will open showing exactly the 3D view and the camera view that you have just created. Now, just like before, you can actually control the view crop region. So you can select a little blue point and put it up and then select the top one and then pull it down, etc, etc. And just like before, to turn it off, you can go to the Properties palette or the Graphic Styles bar at the bottom. I'm going to leave this particular window as I quite like it. So to cancel, press in negative space. Now with the three views that we've changed, so we changed level three rooms and dimensions, and we also changed section one and we've also just created 3D view one. I want to put these on sheets. So to do that, we go down to the project browser all the way into the bottom. You'll see sheets. I want you to open that up, double click on A101. A new window will come up, which shows our title block within our sheet. And from here, we're going to drag on the three views that we've created. So one click over level three with rooms and dimensions and then press the mouse again and then drag it over to the drawing area and then press release. And you will see a drawing border area has arrived. I would like you to place this in the bottom left hand corner. Now we go to section one. So click once and then Click again, but hold the mouse down and then drag into the drawing area and then let go just above the plan. And you will see that a new border area for our section has arrived and you will see on my screen that I have a blue dotted line, which means it's actually aligning to the floor plan. So once I'm happy with that, I will click again to place it. Now going back over to our project browser, Click once on the 3D view one, click again, but hold the mouse button down and drag over to your sheet area, hover around about here in the negative space of the drawing sheet and then let go. And as you will see, we've got a small little rectangular box highlighting our 3D view. So if I click here to place it. Now from here, you can see that our 3D view is very small. If you select the actual rectangle by hovering over it and clicking once, and then at the very top where the user interface has changed green, we can actually change the size of the crop. So if you select size crop, a new window will open. And what I want you to do is I want you to click in the scale lot proportions and then go up to width and then make this 300 millimeters and then press apply you will notice that our window has updated on our drawing. 
Now from here, I would like you to press in negative space on the drawing title sheet, so nothing is selected. And then I'd like you to zoom into your 3D view and select the tag, which says 3D view one and the number three placement on the drawing. To select it, I would like you to click on the line and then drag it down slightly to the bottom left hand corner. To change this view tag while it's highlighted, go over to your properties palette on the right hand side, click the big blue button and then select title with no line and you will see that the tag is updated. Now once you have done that, again I would like you to click in negative space to deselect everything. I would like you to go up to the view tab, over to the right you will see over sheet composition guide grids, if you click that button and then press OK you will notice lots of blue grids will align on your sheet which enables you to align the drawings accordingly. These blue grids will not print on your sheet, they are purely a visible representation to help you set out your sheet. Once you are happy with the placement of your drawings on your sheet, you can actually remove this by selecting it and then pressing the delete key. Now at the beginning of our training session, on step number three I believe it was, we locked all of the floors and walls to grid lines. Now let's say that we want to change the design a little bit while we're in the sheet. We have two options to do that. We can either select a drawing and we can press up here activate view. Alternatively we can double click and you'll notice everything around this drawing has been greyed out. If you zoom into your plan a little bit and then from left to right I want you to grab all the dimensions to the left of grid line one. So if I do this you'll notice I've selected all my dimensions and then if I press with my control key and hover over the grid line one and if I can't find it I can press tab until I have found it then control again and click with my mouse so those things are selected and again if I want to double check what I've selected I can press the filter button and it will say here I've selected three types of dimensions and one grid so I'm happy with that so I press OK now if I zoom out a little bit so you can see the section and if I select hover over the grid until it's blue now if I click once and then drag slightly to the left you'll notice my section has moved and that my 3D view has updated this is one of the great things about locking walls and floors etc to grid lines to undo that simply press Control Z and your drawing will return to where it was previously. Now to exit and finish editing within the sheet if you right click with your mouse and then hover over deactivated view and then click that you will return back to the sheet. Next bit we're going to do is update our title block. So if we zoom into the bottom right of our drawing and under owner, if you hover over owner and then click once and then twice, in here I'm going to write my name. So please write yours on your screen and then click out. And then we're going to change the name to Bumblebee. and then click out again. Now once you've made these changes on the sheets, if I go to another sheet in a project browser and click on A102, you will notice that this sheet has also been updated. Okay, that concludes our step 12. Just like before, I would like you to close each window and then do not save as you may want to do this again.